Local legend claims that giants threw their spears into the Ursi to create a shard, a place filled with secrets, where ancient mechanisms are often found along the edge of the moor. House Borgia is known for its secrecy, providing spy masters and clandestine mechanisms to its allies. It is a long-standing target of the Mansa Order. All right. I did manage to get to level nine. I did manage to upgrade my mutagens, at least three of them. And I did manage to upgrade the bird, because I actually completed one of their races. So I'm level nine, and I have an upgraded bird. My one problem with this bird is that it has lower health than the regular bird. But when it comes to like speed, agility, and recharge, it's pretty good. Choose now what stories and memories await you. Choose now what stories and memories await you. I don't what know how can to change from these lives. Choose bird. now what stories and memories await you. What can be gleaned from these lives? You. Oh. Choose now what stories and memories. Got to buy the bird you. again for each chapter. That's gonna be bothersome. Lives. You grow up. You grow up amongst a large company of men. Ascend now, Falconeer. House Borgia believe they have earned their independence from the Mansa Order and the great vaults of knowledge they control. Shard has waited patiently, preparing for this time of unprecedented change. The emancipation of House Borgia will pave the way for the future of all great houses. The time is now. All right, thank you, Oathkeeper. But An Inquisition is unavoidable. Real quick, level six, Jesus, already? Hold on, what's this guy? Assault the Mancer. The Mancer attack, Gob Spitter, hold on, what is this? An organic pierce of free booter tech that shoots acetic mucus. Oh, that's the green launcher. Costs 9,000. Oh, I definitely have the coin. Oh, I got rid of my bird. They gave me my money back. That's weird. I kind of want to go want to go buy my bird back. Although this one has more agility. The speed and agility. The agility is more. The speed's about the same. The HP. Yeah, the one I got had a little bit less, but the regen was a bit more. I don't know. Also, only one time so far has my pot recharged <laughs> in like a fight, and I had to stay in that thunderstorm until like. The bird made the sound like four times. It was ridiculous. Hold on. Oh, that's what I already have, but mine's the upgraded version. What's this? Repeal trade permit? I already have that, I believe. Right? If I try to buy that, it's gonna be like, yeah, okay. So, for nine grand, we can get the organic. I kind of want to go get my bird back, so real quick, I'm thinking we should leave and go back to the tower. Because that bird Local. is the word. Hold on, I got it here. Imperial. Yeah, there you go. That's all right, I came to the peak. Don't you worry about it. I got the permits and everything. Okay, yeah, don't let me land. That's cool. Don't get me wrong, I like these colors I'm seeing. The gray, white, and black, and I think his face is blue. That's kind of nice. He's like a... Was like the blue-footed fitted Bobby. I thought they had like blue faces as well. Royal Strong Pet. Yeah, that's what I had. Oh, its agility and speed was actually greater than the one I had. Bye. Its HP was about the same. Northern Gray Dive. That's what that one was called. I didn't know that its HP was about the same, its regen is definitely better. And I don't even know what it's... ENG? I don't even know what that stands for. It's engine? That doesn't make sense. This bird has an engine? It's English? It's good, it's, it's better at speaking English than most birds. Anyhow. Yeah, this is the one I got. Look how majestic he is. Blue-breasted, blue-faced. Mostly white with gray tips. He looks so awesome. He looks... Regal as hell. Anyhow. 
I really like his agility. You'll see. His agility comes quite handy. Actually, I don't have to do that. He can go here, fly home. Let's get this start. Mission one's a six star. If I can get my sandwich handed to me. I wonder how much the acid launcher does. Like, I'm gonna try it out. I have the 9,000. So I might as well spend it. I think it'll cost me 8,000 to, to get my gun back, though. I wish I could see, like, the actual, like, tech, though. Ganapia shoots acidic mucus and damages organic tissue. So it's better against, like, all the aerial vehicles, except for blimps and also boats. But it is acid, I mean, right? I feel curious. It's not like it's gonna take me long to get another 8,000 back. Oh, it's just a thousand difference. Oh, because you exchange it, because the gun costs 8,000. You give it to them. Oh, but now I have to go to a different shop to buy that Magnetar rifle back. You know, it's fine. Let's try it out. First mission. An, an Inquisition is unavoidable. The race is on to uncover the remainder of the Mansa's secrets and release that grip on the Imperium. But first, we need to buy ourselves more time. More time. A man's inquisition is inevitable. inevitable. It's only a matter of time before the Empress yields to the Mansa's demand for punitive action against House Borgia. We did not expect the Knot Bomb to be so potent, but we cannot toss that fish back in the sea. Yeah, we you blew up your own guys. The consequences. Our first task is to the our bomb. peace with the Empress and ensure House Borgia won't be sacrificed to the Mansa Order. We will deliver a package containing pledges of support to the Imperial Palace. Many in the Imperium endorse our challenge to the Mansa Order. Hopefully it will stay in the Empress's hand. Both of you will need to be on your best behavior for this one. Good luck. best behavior indeed here's my thing though that i was just thinking about they called it the nod bomb and it was like a huge nuclear device and in command and conquer the super weapon of the ma the, the nod use is also a nuke is this was that a command and conquer reference that they just squeezed in there i feel like he called it the nod weapon and then there's also there's already this this group of people called the Nod in Command and Conquer, and their super weapons the nuke. I feel like at some point you'd be like, if no one ever it, whoever worked on this game never ah, played. Ooh, legendary oh, ace, deadly sound mount. I will hang your stutter and my neck. No. You shall not. Was that him? Cause he just said you shall not and then died. This agility is ridiculous. I mean, look at this. I turn as I turn better than the little bug dudes. And with the regen, most of the time, all I have to do is like run away real well. Like I got the speed. So I just toss him, I just make him go in circles for a little bit. Right? But this acid gun's pretty nice, actually. It shoots fast, doesn't do as much damage as the other one did. Ooh, they got me good that time. Also, I dropped my package. It's in the water. I tell you what though, down south, even at level 9, those Mancer forces with these drakes wiped me out like fast. Epicent Imperial Peak to the panic. Alright, hold on, I gotta go pick it back up. 
I did not know they could knock it from my hands if I took enough damage. I had to find that out when I was replaying missions for XP. It's not so bothersome if you're paying attention. If you're paying attention, like, a green icon will appear in the ocean, so... For the most part, you're okay. All you gotta do is survive or fly there. Up to the peak. Look, we're swearing our oaths to the Imperials. House Borge is better than House Mancer by, like, a lot. I mean, look how majestic and white my bird is. Right? They fly weird sky lizards. You can't the trust them. The House Borgia is flooding in from houses great and small. They seem to wield more control than even her highness. House Borgia has rid the Imperium <clears throat> of the Lost. We demand arbitration and a stay of Mancer intervention. The Empress cannot prevent a Mancer intervention on your house. For that, you have taken matters too far. But in recognition for your recent service, she will grant you arbitration for one month. After which, House Borgia must submit. One month to get the Mansa to stand down. One month to get them to retreat. Else House Borgia will be sacrificed. I understand. Try not to bring the Imperium down with you. Well, if we die, what will it matter? It'll be all up to you guys to defeat the Mancers then, won't it? Clown dick. All right, just say that as you leave. What are we doing here? to be stupid to think if you could take us on. We have the Shard, we have the Floaty Dilly Dally. We're supported by the Imperiums. <laughs> What's the Mancer have? Lizard? Dragons? Well, they don't beat fire, so they must be simple sea drakes. If I remember anything from Magic the Gathering, they kinda suck compared to birds. They're always drop heavy and they have weird numbers, they're like two fours or one threes or one negative twos. Like, did not make any sense their numbers? How do they stay alive? We have one month. The Empress wants to see what we can gain. And if we fail, she <laughs> All things considered, this is a satisfactory outcome for us. Good work. <laughs> Captain Salad Tree was no match. He tried to eat that salad before he was, it was all over, but it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough fiber Time to survive me. Time for our plans to bear fruit. A mighty warship has been under construction at Plexpire. No, it my God. To send it into action. Oh, so we're gonna go out and use our big new warship to stab people, huh? House Borgia has been preparing for this moment for centuries. Oh, have we? Finally, we have an opportunity to strike ah. and free the Imperium from the clutches of the monster. Soon we'll have tea bags the size of our heads. Part of our work with House Mercius of Cleftspire has been the construction of a new class of battleship based on stolen Mansa technology. Hmm. 
We will escort our own this crab. dreadnought to Moorbridge to blockade Mansa forces from the north, sending a message not only to the Mansa Order, but also to the Empress and the Great Houses. Freedom from the dreaded Mansa Order. The fate of our people is in our hands. Resistance from all sides will be ferocious, so be alert. <laughs> this ship uh, was built with the sole purpose of taking on the Mansa Order. We will use their own mechanisms against them. <laughs> They're stupid that way. Relying on giant sea bugs and weird bubble crabs from the deep. <laughs> Why would you make your ships out of things that are delicious? Stupid. As we defeat them, we feed our army. <laughs> Crumpets. This fire's finest steel at your disposal. This mighty vessel is hectoring for Spark Johnny. To be fair, that is probably the biggest ship I've seen so far. That's just a regular ship. It's pretty big. It doesn't have sails either. That means it's all steam power. Or maybe coal, because look, black smoke's coming out of it. The technology in this world is weird. But coal. But weird. I'm gonna grab me a snacky snack, if you guys don't mind. <laughs> a little something for later, you'll see. Now's the part where we relax a little bit. Oh, something's coming in. Never mind. Relax station, station over. This ship is an abomination. Riddled with unlicensed and stolen technology. Here's my stolen technology. <laughs> It's a, it's a free booter gun. You like that? Huh? You like that? It does the acids damage against the living things. Oh my god. This ship is proof. We need to be led by those willing to use what they learn. Where are they? In the sky, above us. Is that a biplane? What was that sound? Or is it the horn? The dive bombing. Arrow. The speed in which I can dive is ridiculous. I can just get down there when I want to. Who there? They approach it. Sea drakes. Burn them. Jesus. Did they bring their wedding diaries with them into battle? What was that? How many warps could one drake carry? Oh, no wonder they couldn't fight well. They're being weighed down by their pocketbooks. <laughs> Tea kettle. Now, this is the scariest part about the war against the Mansers the quiet before the storm. <laughs> My co pilot's like, and then the storm part's not as bad? Oh, right, I forgot about that part. Never mind, the storm's pretty scary, too. Durr! Unity! How many sweepers they got? Oh, maybe they do breathe fire. Or is that just their gun? They, they figured they had sea drakes, so they put, like. <laughs> Flamethrowers, flame launchers on their drakes. Ow, ow. Dude, my own high boat is blowing up the sky around me and nudging me around. No? Mm -mm. Dude. Alright, this ain't. This is a royal. This is a royal falcon. Alright. Unlike a pelican, this can turn on a dime. Look at this. Turn 
figure out what this does, but it doesn't hurt me, so I just absorb them. Because I figured it's gotta be ammo, right? It's gotta be good juice. It's gotta be making me stronger and better at my job, right? Defiance mode activated. Alright, let's go back to the shard. Let's go home. I'm bringing my fish with me, by the way. These fish are tough. They can live for a long time. He, he will wiggle forever. Which, on a mostly sea planet, you would think, yeah, they'd be tough. They grew up with all this nonsense happening. Alright, I missed the landing post somehow. Oh, there it is. I missed it way. I was way off. I thought it was down there. The ship is in play. Let us hope it is the rock upon which the Mansa Order breaks in the coming storm. Yes, it shall do so, as you said. Spy Master Elias. It was Elias. We have covert agents inside the Good. Monster Order. Lord, One what does that mean? One of them is about mean? to deliver some crucial information via a dead drop near Oberon's reach. You ten, know ten skulls. All right. We need you to pick up intel delivered to a drop site by a covert agent. Close to Mansa Holdings and away from prying eyes. Just as a shooting and dodging mission, you can I just run away? Drawing attention from the Mansa. The path will take you past Remnant Freebooters. The dead drop will be near Port Remit, a den of spies, a port as lawless as any on the Ursi. No, no, hold on. Once you have the messages, do not engage any hostiles. Make a line for the security of Fort Ichtis. They will delay any trailing forces. Return safely and swiftly. We'll have work to do once you get back. So this is a scoop and run mission. I literally had the perfect word for this then. All right, <clears throat> let's do it. Are we on our own? Yeah, we're on our own. Do we dare use time magic? I was out there past Red Mouth, getting swifty. The waters are a little bit warmer here. Nope. Uh uh. That's right. On a dime. Play it. Hey. Now's the time. <laughs> Sorry. Hidey hole, a pirate cove. Keep it steady, keep it quiet, keep it loose. Being charged by the thunderstorms. No, no, you won't. No, you won't. You think you will, but you won't. You guys can't even turn like me. The speed, the agility. She moves like a demon. What? The jewels, they are mine. And no one else's. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Alright. Only in the Royal Air Force under House Borgia can you literally turn the entire world around. You can even make her turn around and look at it. House Borgias, we have the fanciest of songs with some bop in it. Hold on, what's going on here?
Is that the item? No, that's a uh, rewards for carrying it. That's not it. Oh, it's a big area. Is that it? I think that's it. Yeah. Ruh. Ruh. Eo is the infiltrator's contact. Bolger have sent their lackey. We have your man, and soon we'll have you. Running. Good luck with that. <laughs> this is my fastest bird that I could acquire. I literally just traveled like three <laughs> clicks and now I'm fully recharged again. Oh, oh, let's even catch the draft. I'm not even seeing them on radar. I just took off on them. Radar, I mean the map. <laughs> My magic radar. Dive in. Hi. <laughs> well, well, well. The monster have coordinated their attacks. Make sure he gets away safely. And I shall. Thank you, Fort Itches. Doing your job. Dang, I didn't even see them. I wanted to get away and I got away. Look at this. We'll have you yet, Bolger Infiltrator. No, you won't. Oh, I gotta have to fight. Well, it doesn't matter. You All do that work. Nothing. You do nothing except defeat me. <laughs> you do nothing. That's what it should have been. I feel like we're ready. I don't feel like the measurements of difficulty systems are properly laced out. It feels like if it's a solo mission where you're by yourself, it just adds a bunch of skulls. It just goes... Rrr, rrr. And then when you fight another mission that's like a level four, then you die like five times. You're like, hmm, I don't know. Our agent has made the ultimate sacrifice. And as a result, we have many locations of monster relic sites. Let's get to work. We're gonna touch all their fancy old stuff. Our history is full of secrets the monster do not comprehend. There exists one ancient site that holds the power to change the Ursi. We must find it amongst the myriad relics. Look at that. <laughs> what did I say? The next mission. Four stars. Expected <laughs> oppositions. Only four skulls this time. No, oh, last time it was we ten. You handled that fine. This ancient site. We believe it holds the key to liberate every soul on the Ursi from the monster. Oh, do you now? The intel from our agent provided locations of three minor shrines worth investigating. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The first one, which is our target for this mission, lies across the moor in Mansa territory. Well, that is quite dangerous. They have drakes to the shrine fire. safely. They were built for falconeers. Once perched, transcribe any script or glyphs you find. Return swiftly so we can study what you've learned. I'm not gonna be attacked by a crab demon while I'm over there, am I? Cuz... Wait, who's allies with the Mancers? Cuz so far, when I was part of Dunkel, I had to fight them. Or at least they were enemies on the map. Or at least, actually no, they weren't. Chapter 1, I had no enemies on the map except for pirates. But they were, Mancers are definitely enemies of the Imperials, and the Borgias are a family that are supported by the Imperials, but they're separate. They're a separate great house. But All Mancers right. are enemy to we're both getting of them. Near. Although that minefield doesn't bode well. Well, what do you want to do with this minefield? You want to touch it? I'll touch it. I've been known to touch a minefield or two. Bring this mine with us. Will good things happen? A whale! A Mansa ship. Seems they are taking precautions. We're on the trail of something. Take it out. Use the mine to 
hostile earlier. I will. I shall. Oh man, their guns are good though. Hold on, I gotta run. Let me get some health back. They're dually out damage. See what I mean? Okay, hold on. Went their mines over here too? Where'd they all go? Sections are in place against the Imperial. Stay away. We'll fire. Recharge my zip zap juice. Collect it all. Collect it all. Hold on. And... Yahtzee. Oh, that's gonna miss. It's too fast. I gotta get in front of it. <laughs> the same bomb! Alright, this time things will be different. Oh, he's turning. He's turning. Oh, he's good. Wow, he's good. I'm gonna get him, though. Get them! You get them. All right this time. Man, they're good. I should just shoot him at this point. Maybe I approach them from the front. Or get really close to them. Gotcha. <laughs> they dropped something. I can't see what it is though, because the cinematic camera is only okay at its job. You remember that time I turned everything upside down because the crab spawned? Oh, why though? Ooh, it's getting pretty over here. Sea's got a nice color and the sky's got a nice color over here on this side of the ocean. <laughs> oh god, the war's not over! Insignificant! You wanna share his fate, fate? Huh? Oh god. Looks like I won't be able to take a prize with me after all. I never recovered one of those. I imagine it's just supplies. I doubt it's gonna be like a rare mutagen or something. You literally trash! You don't know that. Here we go. No, 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 no. Gotcha. Alright, I'm coming back in. Keep him warm for me, ally. Here we go. Oh, Cold-blooded. Get down on the prize. Let's see if we can find something of interest. Well, let me pick up my Take prize off. again. <gasps> the shrine of the Kraken. Oh. <laughs> It is a holy place. Trying to make sense of these glyphs. Oh no, I donated my thing. Oh no, you go collect it already. Legend holds this was the place the Mansa observed the stars. Until mysteriously one day, they dismantled every observatory. The Shrine of the Kraken. At the end of his search, the sun asked the Kraken, can your arms reach to the bottom of the sea? The Kraken confirmed this was within her power. He then asked if her arms could reach the stars, and again she confirmed this was within her power. And the sun was impressed and asked her if she would use her arms to lift him away from the seas and up to the stars. The Kraken replied that she could not, and her arms were the roots of the world, and so to reach the stars the world would fall from her grasp. Interesting. But is it true? Our Mansa infiltrations have provided us with an indication of what these glyphs mean. But it's vexing, to say the least. Let 
and head back. It vexes you, the great vexing? What's down there? What's all that then? Huh? What are you building into the mall over there? We do not know exactly what we are looking for. However, these <laughs> shrines hold information important enough for the monster to guard. We are on the right path. No, <laughs> of course we're we're always on the right path. We're the Borgias. There is no wrong path with us. Your transcriptions have illuminated the location of two more shrines, which, along with the first one, form the trail of the monster. Time to complete this trail. Let's go find where they're hiding their precious uh, ruby stones. Both shrines are near Port Remit, close right. to Oberon's Reach, the Mansa stronghold. We'll provide cover for you as you escort the Dreadnought past the shrines. Oh. The first shrine is here, again. As before, land and examine it. The Dreadnought will anchor at the neutral settlement of Port Remit. The Mansas will assume it as a play for control of Port Remit and intervene. This battle should distract the Mansa from the second shrine, which is closer to Oberon's reach. Use the cover of the combat to make a dash for the shrine and return safely. Godspeed. Oh, don't worry about the speed part. This bird is got speed. Near Fort Itchities. Let's go. Fort Itchities. <laughs> I shall fly ahead to make sure it's safe. It is quite safe. Although nightfall is upon us. Careful, gents. <laughs> Night is a dastardly time. Got your deal! We'll cover Captain Balin! And call the melee with the monster forces near Port Brevet! You son of a creamy Full biscuit! Steam ahead. I didn't know they allowed doughboys to become captains. Here, steady as she goes, gents. Keep it quiet, keep it clean. God, that's a loud boat. Could it be any louder? Should your nephew David start practicing the drums right now? Could that be something we do? Oh, someone approaches. They always sense it for I do. Oh, maybe they're not. Maybe it was just over there. Oh, there it is. <laughs> they can swear at you in your common language as well. Where are they? There it is. There's the first strike. Let's set down. Are you ready? Here's the first shrine. Land at it. Where is it? Oh, there it's the shrine of fire. The shrine of the fire. Oh, not the shrine of fire. The shrine of the fire. For this fire is special, everyone. Calm down. It's different than most fires. Bigger. Flamier. This is part of the founding myth of our empire. It will be useful as a key for further transcriptions. Shrine of the Fire. As the sister traversed the Ursi, she brought onto her bosom the lost peoples of the world. She showed them the fires that raged and directed them to select their strongest, and they would be bound by fire. No. Bound by fire, they would protect those of rock and those of water.
and then that is it nothing else by the end of this we're gonna find out at the end of the story that humans are just like dragon farts or something they were an accident we're an afterthought all right the great sea leviathan unleashed its dewy dewiness against the great fire and humans were born a smelly weird creature Totally not adapted to living on a mostly water planet. What if this is just an alternate timeline of Waterworld? What if this is just like Earth, but like in the year 3000, right? I smell Manser forces. Anyone else smell that? It smells like the sea mixed with lizard. Shoot down this flying fart, comrades! What is that? It's the trophy from last time. We might as well grab it right now. Hold on. Game's loading. Gun. Fire at will. Get him! Yeah. Leave and we might let you live. Hold on, where was that trophy All in the water? I might as well grab it. Mountaineers. There it is. That captain's probably like, holy crap. See, right? Enemy capital ship, the Lector Cecil. No! Part of it broke up already. Oh, 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 it's good. No! Oh, it's a bit of a shoving buddy. Hold on, let's get out of here. We need to heal. Also, I lost my treasure. That's the case. We might as well come back here, recharge, and look for a fish. These drakes got too far away from their main battleship. Mmm, they go down so easily. Nice try. From below. Situation is under control. Their reinforcements are coming. Let's head for the shrine now. Well, then come on, then Slappy Jesse Raphael. Okay, yeah, we gotta go. You guys stay. Also, let me discover this friendly port. Port Remit. Oh, <laughs> you clever shrew. What's this little ball, huh? Can I shoot at it? That's cool. <laughs> Let's go. I'm gonna fly flying fast and low. You with me? No, because you're a blimp. That's right. The Shrine of the Falcon. That's what I fly. Ah. Oh. Surely this will hold a significance to me. Nope, nothing. <laughs> That's an okay shrine. I'm not sure I appreciate it, though. Splinters. Splinters contain memories. That doesn't make any sense. Perhaps it's a metaphor. The clues to the location we seek must lie somewhere within this riddle. We've been using Science memories as money? After his father left, never to return, the searching son released a falcon. The falcon was tasked to find the father, 
But when the falcon followed the trail of the father, all he found was a solitary tree. As the falcon perched on the tree, he discovered it was edible. And with each peck, he ingested a splinter of the tree. And with each splinter, he gained the memories of the world. When the bird returned to his master, he was already dying. He had eaten too much of the tree, and the searching sun opened up the bird and gave each of his children a single splinter, so they would forever share in the memories of the falcon, and with it, the world. Aww. Well, at least we know that falcon had kids, because... <laughs> Look at us, huh? Look at us. What are we doing? Flying around on these birds, right? <laughs> Recharge. Get that full recharge. Give me that zippy zap sauce. I'm just gonna test this out because I don't know if we're done with this mission yet. Everything looks green now. Does that mean I can use my pot again? One way to find out. The Empress will not let you run around freely for much longer. We will end now. Oh, breakers. We upheld the <laughs> You upheld the what? What you upheld? You upheld something. I couldn't hear him though. Nope. Wasn't enough to recharge it. Try to use it. And that's after three full zaps. Time to go back. The dreadnought will return on its own. Head for Shard, Falconeer. Yes. Should we not escort the dreadnought? I mean, we never escort them back, really. Unless the mission, like, really needs us to. Most of the time, we just go, oh, it'll find its way back. Don't worry about it. Let's fly over here instead. Gingerly touch tips. Good work. These ancient relics are providing a wealth of information on both our past and the location of more important markers. <laughs> Most good. Most indubitably. A Mansa task force has left Oberon's reach for Basilica Secundus. Intercept this fleet immediately. Not Basilica Secundus. Hold on. I actually have a lot of coin now. Could I buy stuff? I already own that one. I already own that one. Gain a health boost each time you defeat an airborne opponent. Oh, these are one time effect ones. I thought I got those upgrades. I guess it took those upgrades away too. Got a lot of acid. It's doing all acid damage. What if we add fire to that? Already own that permit. They don't have the harbor one though. Already on that one. Right, righteous. I guess I might as well buy this mood mutagen now. Before all this money disappears. From exploding death syndrome. A Mansa task force has left over on its reach for Basilica oh, Secundus. No. Intercept this fleet immediately. Basil <laughs> Basilica Secundus. What a name. Watch out, they'll show you your, their Secundus. a task force of Mansa battleships is heading toward Basilica Secundus. We believe it is a mission to root out our infiltrators there. The Westgate group seems the likely approach. We have requested a blockade by their garrison. We don't know if they will help or choose to stay out of it. 
If we can destroy this fleet and its monster investigators, it will buy our agent enough time to wreak as much damage as possible and make a getaway. If we can undermine their trust in the internal security of a major vault, it would put Basilica Secundus out of commission for the foreseeable future. This is a win-win. We will buy our agents time and disrupt vital staging points into the Imperial heartland. Let's make it happen. With our making it happen hands. Westgate isn't that far, but they are an unknown quantity. The majority of the houses, just like the Empress herself, are sitting this one out. Do you think they know? <laughs> Do you think my uncle ever thinks about showing itself to my Basilica Secundus? Hmm? Do you think my doin would be interested in this Basilica Secundus? I feel like they would. I have a hunch. The fleet were reported south of Westgate. No air cover to be seen yet. They have wells, though. You know what that means. There they are. Do you think us fools? Take them down. Don't let them take you down. We cannot hold against the task force without support. Gotcha. Enemy capital ship, Lexio Draken! Oh my god. Ow! Man Selector, you are overstepping your mandate! This is Westgate airspace! Remove yourself! We have declared ourselves neutral! Not gonna do that, brother man. We're gonna be in the firefight, it seems. Hold on. My friend, I've been taking a bit of Alright, here I come in spicy. Ah, oh, friendly vessel, Captain Burger! Finally, you've arrived! That's one of them down. Took a direct hit across his dunkle. Ah, my doinkus! No! Oh, those capital ships are good. Guns and rifles, cannon, armor, and mount. Like any other tool, we use them. Wear them as if they were made from steel, not flesh and sinew. There are truths to this memory that you haven't grasped yet. Origins and causes you have not yet learned. Let us dive in once more. Right, righteous. But how? A man's a task for... We have word, a task force of Mount. West if we can, if we can un this we is will. a win-win. Yes, win. a thousand. One percent. Westgate isn't that far, but they are an unknown quantity. The majority of the houses, just like the Empress herself, are sitting this one out. I could have taken them all on if I had been more focused. All right, bring it down. Dodge that. The right. fleet were reported south of Westgate. No air cover to be seen yet. All right. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Took us a little while, but... That do nothing. Man selector, you are overstepping your mandate. This is Westgate airspace. Remove yourself. We have declared ourselves neutral. Good baby Jesus. Kill it, kill it, kill it. We have to get start getting kills.
Alright, here we go. Here's some mines. Whoa! You disobey the path! Here's the consequences! Here's my consequence to your thing. Whatever you said. Yes, above it. Friendly, Captain Mancy. Urgh, unit to not bend to your ignorance. Gotcha. <laughs> Follow Oberon's path and obliterate all that stray from it. I really use less of those push. Those vacuous push you up <laughs> tunnels in this battle. Gotcha. <laughs> Woohoo! Woo too much wind. The wind was fighting me today. You forced our position, Porsche. Yes, With it's dead. Us, you will be splinters on the way. We are not allies in this. And we will not help you again. Westgate is closed to all. <laughs> Let's head back. I think that was the only support from Westgate we can expect from now on. Unless there's another fight really close to you guys, right? Then all of a sudden you'll be like, oh, <laughs> won't you? What's Westgate have a problem with us for, huh? But West, we, us and Westgate were cool, are we not cool anymore? You succeeded in taking down the ship and resisted a monster ambush. Westgate might not have been happy about helping us, but they have set out their stall. The Westgate approach will be lost to all. This is a positive outcome. Good work. <laughs> We've been busy analyzing the data from the shrines, and it seems we should be hunting for something much, much bigger. Like a whale. Or a crab dip. Alright, six stars with only 600 berries. Right, let's do it. We've located something big. A location why. which hints at access to the deep itself. But we need something vault bound. A key of sorts. This is a major operation, people. We are assaulting Basilicus Secundus. With Westgate forces blocking the only approach, it is now isolated and cut off. Nice. And our agent there confirmed it holds the key we seek. We will need to stage an insertion to retrieve the key. The battle fleet is en route as we speak. You will join with it and provide air support. The Dreadnought is blocking the Moorbridge approach, so this is leveraging our remaining forces. It is also the end of any stalling by the Empress. After this, it will be a matter of days before the full force of the Mansa and the Imperium is upon us. The Empress will have no choice but to condemn our actions. This is a one-way ticket. No going back. Why are we doing this? Get to the staging area. The political South system of this world is confusing. Secundus. I'll be commanding one of the few thunder strikes we have available and join you there. Wait, so the Empress wants us to deal with the Mancers by ourselves, otherwise she'll cut us off. But we're gonna do something that pisses off her and the Mancers? What? I'm failing to see the big plan here. Are we gonna like dip? As soon as we capture them, they get mad and show up, we there both just are. leave. We are the first wave ahead of the fleet. Let's head for the Basilicus now. Also, oh, we always knew they were gonna capture the Basilicus Secundus. Alright, <laughs> was that something we all knew? <laughs> <clears throat> I would have worn my nicer clothes if I knew I was gonna be capturing the great Basilicus Secundus. There it lies, our prize, the vault. Its secrets will be ours before the day ends. Gotcha. <laughs> you got like.
like shoot at just the right angle, otherwise you're just hitting the ground for some reason. Touch it. And assault upon our sacred knowledge. Take down its defenses first. Enemy capital ship, Lecter Tintian. Do you think us fools? Take them down. We shall see. There's a chance. Another way of defending. Another falconer that thinks he can take on the master order. <laughs> yes, it is I, the falconer, that he can take on the master order. Show you insignificance from the ashes. You guys can't turn on a dime like a real royal bird, can you? I'm a direct descendant of the falcon, brother man. Come on, <laughs> shouldn't the other falcons be like we all are, aren't we? Talking about, dude. We are with you. We protect our own. I'll steal the kill from here. The <laughs> deed is done. Never before has this law been breached. Until now, when free men stood up to claim their duty. The Secundus is ours! Head back with the good news. We'll soon have our key. It's what we came for, after all. Let's bomb them. Let's throw out the nose boss. Drop another one on them. <laughs> Put a hole in that tower big enough for a bird to land in. I gotta land at the shard. I gotta complete the mi mission. Excuse me, where's the Secundus on this place? I know, oh, there it is. The key will be en route soon, and it will reveal the next part of our search. As for the vault itself, we've taken what we need. The monster can have it back. Oh, weird. We're sending you with the key to where we think the relic is. We have no precise location and no idea as to its appearance. <laughs> Good luck. We have no information on the Super Titan as well. <laughs> Alright, that actually went by faster than I thought it would. We got a lot done. What is that? Mission 8 already for this chapter? So we're doing pretty well. I think my upgrades, uh, I need to go back and get the potions because I realized that not only did it unbuy the bird, I guess you have to buy them for each chapter if you want to use them. Which is fine, because it looks like it gives you back your your berries in each chapter if you, you already used them all in something that you don't, like, that was in your inventory, I guess. So you just got to go over there and buy it again, which is kind of bothersome. That's kind of annoying. It's like, why can't it just stay in my inventory? But anywho, that's fine. I'll go buy those mutagen upgrades again. And I'm already, like, level 11, about to be level 12, so we're actually leveling up pretty well now. I feel like things are trying to even out for the difficulty, I guess. But anywho, we can go ahead and do a cut right here. Thank you all. Ewok Templar, going through the Falconeer. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. We was in the distance. Get ready. Evade the beast. Highline. God. Another Falconeer that thinks he can take on the past. <laughs> Another falconer who thinks they can take on the bro I love it. That's good design. Talk all that cement. <laughs>
gets smacked back. 